of Nerds, I am Wildfire One. You're watching and listening to Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. And uh, this is episode 169. Woohoo! Yes, 169. Anyway, with me today hmm. is J Mac. My good old buddy J Mac. And we've. So uh, I'm going to throw Grizzly under the bus. He was supposed to be here tonight with us, but his work screwed him. I'll throw myself under the bus, though, too. We were supposed to record yesterday, and then I screwed us. <laughs> well, you know, shit happens. Shit happens. And that's that's kind of how I, like, Grizz, Grizz was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm like, dude, don't worry about it. Shit happens. Like, life gets in the way. Yeah. We always preach that. So, uh, but today the podcast is something I'm fucking excited about. I know you're excited. I know Grizzly was excited. We're talking about Fallout. Fallout, the, the Amazon Prime series, which mm. I think this was their first game rendition to live action. I could be wrong. Ah. They did it with MGM Studios, which was wild. Yeah, and I—I I guess um, I forget who told me this. I guess they went in. Uh, they went in with the whole like they thought that this would fail. Huh. Supposedly they 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 went in expecting the Fallout series not to make it, like not to do very well. And then it got renewed for a second season. And it got re- almost week. almost instantaneously. Like, yep. <laughs> I watched it the week it came out, and Jesus Christ, it was either the week it came out or the or, or half a week after it came out. I can't remember, but Jesus Christ, was I hooked? I heard it was good, and then I sat down to watch it, and by the the next thing I I the next thing I knew, it was like eight in the morning, <laughs> and it's, I had watched the whole series. It sucks you in. Like I'd watch I'd watch two or three episodes. And I think it's what ten ten episodes or so. Eight. Eight. Okay, but I watched I watched maybe two episodes a day, and I, I took a break on the weekend, and I I went into it going okay, well don't don't expect much, you know. Right. You, I know I love I I'm a huge Fallout fan. You're a huge Fallout fan. Yes. And one of the big things that I was expecting through the series, what I was hoping, fingers crossed, through the series was that darkness. The darkness and also the silliness. And also the silliness. And I was we part, got both. I mean, part of me was half expecting another Halo. Yeah, well, yeah. But I'm gonna say this before we get into the meat and potatoes of, of talking about this Fallout series. I'm gonna say this. I am super happy to see that we're actually getting good adaptations to video games to see to series. Yes. Because because the first one I was worried about was uh, The Last of Us. And The Last of Us turned out to be a spectacular fucking success. Again, any series you get, they're going to be naysayers on the side. I didn't like this. They didn't do this perfect. But anyway. Yeah, no, for real. And this one ha- definitely has its ones. Oh, yeah. Fallout definitely has its, you know, one of the biggest, the stupidest ones I heard of. And I know we talked about a few, mm-hmm. uh, I think, yesterday. Yes. But the stupidest one I heard was... How do they make uh, dog meat a girl? Does it fucking matter? You li- okay? In Fallout Three, you literally get a perk called dog meats puppies. Who's dog meat fucking to have puppies? What dog is there? <laughs> well, I I mean, does it matter the gender of the dog? Are you so no. pissed off? Are you? Do you want to ruin shit for people so badly that you're gonna reach that far and go like, dog meat should be a boy? Does it fucking matter? Yeah, no, see, look, the fact that they included dog meat at all yes, shows that they love the show. Like, I think the thing that I really enjoyed was its respect for the lore for the like the, the lore source material. Yeah. 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 Um, um it was incredible. It was incredibly well acted. Mm-hmm. All the characters were incredible. The ghoul carried the show, though. Honestly. Oh, the ghoul was probably one of my favorite characters. We get into three characters. You have Lucy, Maximus, and the ghoul, right? And mm-hmm. those are basically your three characters. Lucy is your typical vault dweller. Stupid to the world. Doesn't know what's going on. Has to learn the hard way that shit is real outside of those vault doors. Yep. You got Maximus, who you like at first, and then he starts doing some fucking questionable shit. And... And we'll get into that. And then you got the ghoul, who is basically the opposite of Lucy. Yeah, you start opinion. hating the ghoul at first. He's the anti-hero, in my opinion. Yeah, well, at first, at first, you thought he was going to be like the villain. Yeah, yeah. Like, because like when he, when he shoots up the town in two, I'm like, oh god damn it. Yep, this is going to be bad. It, and but he he turns out he's a likable mm-hmm. character. The more you learn about his yeah, backstory, Max, and, like Maximus redeems himself too. Oh, he does. But there's, you know, it, it's it's a situation with Maximus. It's a situation of 
like treat others into you want uh, onto what you want to be treated as. Yeah. And and there's a point where he gets the opportunity to to be the better person, and he just doesn't. Yeah, no, he. And I I get it. Not <laughs> and I get it. We'll start off. Uh, go ahead, J Mac. Let us let let us know where you want to start. We'll start at the beginning. Plot wise, I really enjoyed it. It clearly takes place after Fallout Four. I think Todd Howard even confirmed it does. You know what? I think I did see something about that. So. Um, a lot. Of, okay. I'll, I'll get to this. I'll get to this later, but I got to get it out of my head now. So I just remember it. Yes. A lot of people were mad about the timeline regarding Shady Sands, but they're mad for the wrong reasons. Uh, they're, they're misreading a certain chart that happens in there, but we'll get to that later. We'll get to yeah. that later after our thoughts, right? The series really respected, um, the source material, like how, how the game feels to play, how the dialogue in the game feels like. There were some like there were some serious moments, and then there were like also deeply out like the exact kind of deeply out of pocket moments that you would expect from a Fallout game. Yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, I think I... the one that I can I think of the most is a. Uh, hey, do you want to make my cock explode? <laughs> yeah. No, it it grows it bi- becomes big and it uh, pops like a pimple. <laughs> <laughs> and that just screams Fallout. It screams Fallout. Yeah, and like I I, I saw people who were like mad about those jokes. I'm like. Tell me you've literally never played a Fallout game without telling me. Yeah. I mean, the only thing I could like see... Fallout New Vegas, you can sell drugs to children. Yeah. The only thing I could see it being a little bit ridiculous is the sex, but the sex... It's an adult... It's an adult show. It's an adult game. Like, you like literally talk to prostitutes in... in well, at least Fallout 3. She in her vault was going to have the role of... Uh, Baby maker. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Literally, they were literally selling her. Well, that was selling going to her. Be her job, yeah, she yeah. was going to be a breeder. Married, married. She was marrying someone who wasn't her cousin. By the way, that's a thing. Yeah, that was so. Funny. They went straight to the incest, man. They yeah, like yeah. episode one. I was I like, Jesus. For me to marry. I think it's time for. I've I've fooled around a lot. Like with my cousin. Yeah. I think it's time for me to marry someone who isn't family. Exactly. And they they went straight there, and I was like, "God damn, is this Game of Thrones?" <laughs> and then her cousin has like this huge crush on her. Episode oh. one sets the ball rolling really well. First, yeah. we get the introduction to Lucy. Her, Lucy, everything's happy, go lucky in the vault, which is strange for a vault. The episode really cold, the the cold open though is before the bombs fall. Yeah, the- and we're introduced by to I don't remember the dude's name. Uh, who is a divorced dad. <laughs> At the time, oh, divorce. Yes. yes. Who who the other guys are calling a communist. And a pinko. Yeah. He's at a birthday party because he's, form- he's a former yeah. actor. He's an actor or what have you. And yeah. uh, and he, he, he's kind of like the John Wayne of his time. More yes. or less. And one of the things he's, they're like, why is this guy doing, doing birthday parties for kids? And one of them says something along the lines of like alimony. alimony. And I'm like, oh, shit. Uh, yeah, that that that's fucked up. Yeah. So there's a scene. So he's doing this birthday party. Everything seems to be going all right. You like, I really did not feel bad for those rich fucks. No, fuck those guys. Anyway, he tells his daughter, "Well, they had this thing in the military because he was a, he's an ex marine. Mm-hmm. Where if a bomb explodes, you hold up your thumb, and if it's bigger than your thumb, you uh, or if it's smaller than your thumb, you run for the hills. Mm-hmm. If it's big." And what happens if it's bigger? Well, you don't bother running. Yeah. What we couldn't find out, they basically base the vault boy off him later on. Yes. You find that later on. Yeah. Uh, which is really cool. And, and it, it, that's, that's a few episodes later because he go, he's taking pictures and he's wearing the suit. And he goes, what if I, what if, what if I do a thumbs up? Yeah. And, oh, dude, that was just so fucking cool. That whole, like. Yeah. The bombs drop. The girl's like, dad, did you mean your thumb or mine? <laughs> That was such a dark line. Oh, dude! It, and he was like, he didn't realize. No one realized like, oh, the that's bombs the fire, and then it starts growing bigger, and he realizes it's a bomb. There's a fucking mushroom cloud. It's time to get out of Dodge. Yeah. And he grabs her and takes off, and all the rich people are freaking out and, and scattering. And fuck those guys. The shit out of each other. Yeah. To try to get into the. <laughs> the guys that were like, the guys were like friends. Like, like one guy was a friend. He's like, get the fuck out of here. And those guys, were, two, they were talking shit about him, right? Hmm. And it and then it, and then it goes to you kind of you kind of learn about Lucy who like we said turns out to be the the the, the breeder she's yeah. and they she couldn't breed the way they do it it's weird because they breed there's three vaults that are intertwined 
31, 32, and 33. Yeah, which is unique. And then you find out that, like, she's been a part of the breeder program to basically marry someone from Vault 32. Mm -hmm. Uh, They set that up. They open the doors for people from Vault 32. More or less what you find out is the people from Vault 32 aren't the people from Vault 32, are they? Yeah, no, they're not. They're, all of Vault 32 are dead. Been dead for a while. But we don't know. We that don't know that yet. While, yeah. 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 Uh, the people who, the person who she ends up marrying, and it's a really happy wedding. It's a really, like, happy moment. Yeah. you And you can tell that the some of the Vault people start to see something's weird because, like, they're starting to, like, steal food off of each other's plates and shit. Yeah, and they're eating and, like, what really got me, though, what told me something was really wrong was the moment you could see all the fucking marks on his back. Yeah. I was like, that's a fucking Hold raider. On, okay. It was so funny when he she just gets in there and is talking about how this is such a great living space, and then he just drops his pants. He just, yeah, he's just like, nah, let's get to the fucking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It <laughs> just gets immediately naked. He's getting a drink. She sees the scars on his back. Yeah. Which is also weird. That's what got me weird. weird. And they're starting to have, have screams happening in the background. Like, she can start hearing screams. So she gets her pit boy and it uh, reads radiation levels. Yeah, does the clicking. Thing. Those pit boys mm-hmm. are, were actual functioning pieces of tech in that show. Oh, yeah. I read about that. Mm-hmm. They made it to where they, they do stuff. Like, I wonder yeah. if they played the radio. Well, anyway, they, there's, a, there's a scuffle between Lucy and this raider, this unnamed raider who's supposed to mm-hmm. be her husband. And she ends up, like, she gets stabbed, which is fucked up. Um, mm-hmm. But then they introduce a stim pack. Oh, yeah, which was really cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and it oh, worked. I yeah, know the whole vault is just getting fucked. Yeah. Brutally. Br- like, while she, like, hella while brutal. She getting, while she was getting uh, fucked in bed, <laughs> the vault was getting fucked. <laughs> yeah, the whole vault's under attack, and we find out the raiders just coming in from to, to get food, and they're just grabbing food while they're killing people and eating. Yeah. And Well... But then you learn that the leader of these raiders, Lee Moldaver, mm-hmm. it sets up the kind of villain of the art of the show. Yeah, for this one. She comes in, or she get uh, takes Lucy's dad, who was the overseer of the vault. And this, by the way, sets up some of the funniest things ever that Lucy ever says later. Yeah, hey, she can't be good. She steals dads. <laughs> <laughs> She is so naive. I gotta say this. I gotta. I gotta say this, and I know that. I know that I'm going ahead a little bit, but I gotta say mm-hmm. this while it's in my mind. The scene where she, they go to the Super Duper Mart after, uh, when <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> after <laughs> the whole, I, I was gonna be a sex slave. Yeah. The well, the whole scene. <laughs> the whole scene. I'm talking about after all that, where she gives mm-hmm. the ghoul, uh, who's who's dying because he didn't get his medicine. She mm-hmm. gives the ghoul his medicine and looks down and goes, gold rule, bitch. <laughs> this is the first time she cursed. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's fucking great. Because the whole time the ghoul is telling her, you're you're basically me. Yeah, the the closest thing she got to that before was, gosh, damn it. Yeah. And it, it like, golden rule, bitch. She walks off like a badass. And I'm like. Yeah. She leaves the vault to chase after Lee Moldaver. And that, that. And uh, in true she, Fallout fashion, if you think about yeah. it, she sneaks out. And then that, that triggers the switch to the next character, Maximus. Yeah, which who is getting the shit kicked out of him. Being of bullied. Yep, being bullied yeah. by the Brotherhood. I mean, what more can you say about the Brotherhood, right? Like, <laughs> good, good intentions turn bad, more or less. That's yeah. more or less the Brotherhood um, in a nutshell. His buddy gets selected to be a squire. Um, and then... Uh, said person gets their foot cut open in their boot because someone had put a razor blade in there. Yep. And they blamed it on him. Yeah. Everyone everyone blamed it on him. Well, he was kind of if you think about it, he was kind of the kicking boy of of the group yeah. and unfortunately, like they bullied the hmm. shit out of him. It, it, it so you kind of you kind of feel bad for him. At first you're like, "Oh, this this is fucked up." You know, he's just trying to be the best he could be. He's, mm-hmm. he's trying to forward the thoughts of what you think being a knight should be or being a squire should be or being in the mm-hmm. brotherhood of steel should be and he's just he's just getting the, he's getting shit on yeah no he's got like the proper ideals of the brotherhood yeah um whereas it's very clear that the brotherhood has largely become like a kind of a frat house more or less yeah if you're popular yeah. and you yeah. mm-hmm. by the way um, fuck knight titus oh my god yeah so when he, he gets chose he gets selected to be the new squire. The and, oh my god, Knight Titus is an asshole. We'll get to that. We'll get oh, to that. Dude, dude, you he is the one of the most hateable characters 
that you yeah. love that you love to hate. It it was so satisfying to see him get his entire shit rocked by a Yao Guai. Fuck yeah. Like, like and that was absolutely a fallout moment. Like if you're walking through a place unarmed, even in power armor, and a Yao Guai just appears or some yeah. death claw, and you're just like, oh shit. And he ran like a bitch, which was fucking hilarious. Yeah. Our introduction to the ghoul was short and sweet. Yes. Some fuckers used a rocket launcher for you know that thing from the uh by the way, this was a really fun little nod. To, oh, uh, you're you talking know, about the junk, the junk gun. Yeah, the junk gun. Yeah, which was really cool. Yeah, it's called a rocket launcher, and at least in at least in Fallout Three, you can literally load junk into it and it shoots it. Yeah, you can like stuff teddy bears into it and launch teddy bears at people okay. at lethal velocities. You just guard just get hit by a baby leg. <laughs> it's just like what the that which was fucking hilarious. But they they're digging up this guy, who's a like apparently a really well known bounty hunter. Yeah. Um, and they're like, they they wanted him to do one last, wanted him to join them for their last job. Yeah, the job. And it's actually the same target that the Brotherhood of Steel had. Um, this guy had escaped from the Enclave um, with the dog and had something super important. The ghoul decides, nah, fuck you guys. And he, he kills them all. <laughs> well, to, be, to like, mm -hmm. to, to go to the ghoul's like defense here, those guys were douches. They were. So you get these douchebags, these these smooth skins, as they call them, in uh, coming at you and digging you up out of the grave. Yeah. Uh, you know, was that Radex, by the way, that he was that was attached to uh, him? It was almost. I okay. So there was a weird thing they did with the ghouls in this show where they relied on drugs to not like not turn to go feral. Yeah. Uh, some some people are unhappy with that, but I. Okay, I have seen the bags of Radex in the Fallout games. Yes. It is the same fucking color. That's, that's, see, I'm glad you, you caught that. I'm glad I'm not the only one that saw that because you saw the bag of Radex above the grave. Yes. At least that's what but, I'm thinking it is. Because ghouls are ghouls because of radiation. Mm hmm. Um, and they go feral because of too much radiation. Yeah. Or too much time, um, I guess, depending on what radiation, it depends on how you look at it. Radiation and time at the same time. Yeah. So it would make sense that taking Radex would help a ghoulified person to not go feral. Yes. Oh, honestly, yeah. Thinking about it, it it's perfect. Um, mm -hmm. and it goes good with the, the lore. Or, yeah. Radex, Radaway, whatever it was, but it it comes in a liquid bag. Yeah. Although he was taking it in jet form. Well, I, later on, later on, he was doing the jet inhalers, but the yeah. I'm talking about was above the the yeah. Which which would make sense. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, I also also was pointing at the TV, going, "That's Jet. That has to be Jet. He's addicted." Yeah. Anyway, uh, he gets uh, he later he gets shot by like that that little trank gun that she brings out of that Lucy brings out of the vault. Yeah. Like that, There's a small drop in a large bucket of drugs. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I like I like how all these the characters kind of connected at one point. Yeah. Episode two. Is where they all kind of connect. They meet in uh, Philly, which yeah. is a great name for a stupid junk town. With a the interaction, what are we talking about? Where do they finally meet? Mm. At this point, uh, well, before we get to that, I guess we should talk about Maximus and Titus. Oh God, yes. Uh, so uh, Titus on the way to the mission because they're supposed to go to this to the town of Philly. Yeah, he's like, "Set me down here. I'm bored and I want to shoot things." And Maximus actually being the guy, he's like, "Hey, but our mission's like not for several more miles. What the fuck, man?" Yeah, why? Why would we do that? And uh, Max Titus practically, I mean, you can tell that uh, had Maximus not like latched on to Titus, Titus would have just thrown straight up thrown him out of the helicopter. Yeah, he treated he treated Maximus like a like a pet, more or less. Yeah, or even worse in some. Yeah, because Maximus was showing interest in like, is that the T sixty armor and. He just takes off his crotch piece and clean this. Clean this, yeah. Oh god, I hate tight. God, Titus deserved everything he got. Well, even the actor, like if you, yeah. if you realize the actor, I forget his name, but the guy played the guy plays nothing but assholes. <laughs> so like he's very good at what he does. Like I'll give him that. Uh, he he played an act because you love to hate him in mm. this. Although you you do get a look, I I on my second watching I got a little bit of a glimpse into why Titus was such a cunt. Why um, is that? He um he's kind of fed up with the Brotherhood at this point. Because mm. uh, he talks about like when he's while well, he's dying he talks about like how he gets sent on all these missions to find 
pre-war relics. Oh, yeah. be like a fucking toaster oven. They go into this cave thinking that the... Because the scientist literally was there. Mm-hmm. Um, they go into the cave thinking might have gone into there. Uh, it's a cave of death. It's a. It's clearly like a place you don't want to be. Who do you think takes point into the cave of death? The fully armored knight of the Brotherhood or the unarmored squire with a 10 millimeter pistol? Of course, of course, Titus goes, you go in there. Yeah, and it's like, what? <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm going to say something interesting about the Brotherhood of Steel that I've seen on TikTok. A lot of people are saying that the Brotherhood in this in this sect are acting a lot like the uh, the Caesar's Legion kind from of. from uh, from New Vegas because Caesar's Legion all the, everyone had it had a kind of like a Roman name. Yeah, like Titus Maximus. You know, I, I forget True. what the yeah. So and and that kind of opened my eyes. Like, what if this is what if these guys are remnants from Caesar's Legion from because they weren't yeah. they weren't stuck in then some of the points they made were really cool. They weren't stuck in like, you know, an underground bunker, like some of them were, or, 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 or what, any of that stuff. They were kind of like doing their own thing. They were doing, they were doing this like boot camp kind of thing outside and taking mm-hmm. people in. So maybe, maybe that was the case in, in, in this instance. And all the other games, the brotherhood guys don't have like those weird names. That they're yeah. Getting. Yeah. So I wonder something that had to have happened with the brotherhood. Anyway, Maximus is going into the cave and then he turns around and the Yagwai is just standing behind Titus. Oh, that's right. And it's just fucking horrifying. And Titus looks at him and like, that's where we had that moment. Titus tries to shoot it and the Yagwai knocks the gun away. And while Titus is continuing to try to shoot, it bites the gun in half. Which, by the way, did you notice Titus's gun was like one of the shittiest guns? I Don't, don't they use mostly like laser weapons? Yeah, typically they tend to use pre-war tech. I don't think I've ever seen. But the, these looked more, okay. They looked kind of like the Fallout 4 assault rifles, but they mm-hmm. were way bigger. Like huge. Yeah, they felt they looked maybe it was like a minigun kind of thing. It kinda of, it's kind of what I thought it was at first, mm-hmm. you know. Titus Titus ends up getting hit pretty fuck fucking hard by it gets mm-hmm. mauled by that Yagwai. Mm-hmm. And uh what what kills him ne- isn't necessarily the Yagwai, but yeah. a lot of people think, oh, the power armor was wasn't very powerful because a Yagwai kill it's like okay, number one, a Yagwai can still do that in the games. But anyway You can take two, damage from a fucking rad roach in power yeah. armor. Number two, the reason he, he was like bleeding from his mouth and shit and like bleeding from his head was because he tripped and hit his head on a fucking rock while wearing a the equivalent of a toaster oven on his hat head. Yep. Yep, so a heavy ass toaster oven. Yeah, a cast iron skillet, basically. Yes. Maximus is going to help him at first, right? Mm-hmm. He is getting the med kit. He's going to help. And then the guy's like, They're gonna kill you. And he, he like then he starts to like gleefully describing how they're gonna kill Maximus. Yep. You, so Maximus decides, nah, fuck this. You're a squire that let your da 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 get hurt and blah, blah, and all this other shit. Yeah. yeah, they're gonna fucking kill you. You're gonna die. And he's just he's like rubbing it in Maximus's face. Yeah. While Maximus is getting the medkit to help, to that would have let uh, Titus live, by the way. Yeah. So instead, uh, he lets him die. Yeah. Which I I, I don't blame he even him. Drops this thing like so like because like Titus earlier says like oh you have to earn the suit like and the, so Maximus turns it on him and it's like you don't deserve that suit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so anyway, they all meet in Philly, which yep. is where the scientist turns out to be. Um, which is where Lil- Lily kind of gets her first reality check because everyone fucking hates her because she's a vault dweller. I like how she's uh, trying to talk to people and they're just walking by her. Then I'm fucking. Or, or when she's trying to like be all diplomatic and they're like, "Uh, fuck you! You're a vault dweller. Yep. Fuck off." Yep. We're, def- well, our per- everyone should appreciate the vault's goals. And what is that? Well, we're we're responsible to for, to save America. And when the fuck were you gonna do that? <laughs> It was like, oh, God. so good. It was so good. And I can yeah. imagine, I can imagine like being someone out outside looking at a vault dweller. Uh, yeah. Just, just the naive, naivete, you know what I mean? Yeah, Cause she goes straight in there like saying, Oh, you've got vault tech stuff. That means must mean you do de- uh, deal with criminals. Yep. And immediately she gets like the wor- dirtiest look in the world. Well, I mean, I guess you don't have very many options, right? <laughs> it's just, but no, she really gets her first glimpse into how brutal the uh, the wasteland is. Yeah, and it, honestly, I love that. I lo- I love that about. Mm-hmm. I like that about the games. 
and it's very true to the show. Yes. Or she meets that guy with like the cloth diaper. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> she, she, excuse me, can I get some directions? <laughs> <laughs> While pointing a gun at him. <laughs> so Fallout, by the way. Yes. But the, 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 the big part, like, is where they all three fucking find each other mm-hmm. in, in Philly. And there's, I, I, they're they're looking they're all looking for the 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 doctor and dog meat more or less more yeah. the doctor than dog meat dog meat happens to be with do- the doctor yeah because the doctor raised dog meat from being a puppy yes which was adorable that 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 whole scene yes. that whole moment was cute as fuck i was like oh mm-hmm. the ghoul just starts shooting up the place mm-hmm. mostly because he shoots the scientist and they're like a thousand bottle caps whoever kills that fucker yep and, it's, good. and okay that scene was brilliant Oh, that was very Fallout. Yeah, no, it felt like a lot of kill cams. It was just such a fun little fight. And it showed how badass the ghoul was as far as dealing with people, as far as dealing with... Uh, he had a pro- He had some trouble with with Maximus, mm-hmm. understandably. Gee, who wouldn't have, a, have trouble with a guy in power armor? True. Even if the guy is untrained in power armor, which, let's face it, Maximus wasn't. No, he had, Otherwise, he, had... he would have rocked the ghoul's entire shit there he had no idea what he was doing and but the ghoul also yeah. had being that he was around for so long he knew the weaknesses for the power armor uh lucy and the do- or the doctor who's missing his foot gets like that weird fucking prosthetic foot that eats his leg oh that yeah fucking brutal the, honestly do you see all the blood dude fuck that yeah um that's because yeah, it's because the uh, ghoul shot his leg huh with that big yeah. ass gun but the, the name by the way jim's limbs Lucy and the scientist get out, and Maximus sees this. And even though the scientist is Maximus's target, he's decided to let them go. But no, he was making sure that everyone there was safe, which was good for him. Which is which is what a knight should do, you know? Like, it, yes, it's, he's staying true um, to the code. Yeah. The and the, the scientist fight. takes a fucking cyanide pill about halfway through the trip, and then tells um, her to cut his head off. Yeah. Like. Uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, uh, I love how her response after all that convincing, like, once once she realizes there's no other choice, she's like, "Okie dokie." <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, she turns Okey-dokey. and then she turns on the Ripper, right? Oh yeah, shit! Oh god. So what ends up happening uh, is that she has to go find Mold. What's her name? Moldiver. Lee Moldaver. Lee yeah. Moldaver. The the gal who took her. She was the whole reason was she's gonna go find her she her steals dad. Dads. And, yeah, she steals dads. But there's one scene we absolutely have to talk about, and it is the super duper mark. The ghoul catches up to her, finds her. The the head had already been taken by that weird fucking axolotl mo- Yeah, whatever. Monster. There's a name for it. I can't remember what it's called, yeah, but like fuck a, that thing. It had, like, human fingers, fingers in its mouth. In its mouth. Oh, fuck that. Huh? She accidentally smashes all of the ghoul's drugs. Mm-hmm. So the ghoul takes her with him, and he says something that is so true, so incredibly true for all of Fallout. She's like, but I'm supposed to go find my dad. You want a golden rule? Here's a real golden rule. Thou shalt always be sidetracked by random bullshit. <laughs> that 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 is the fucking golden rule. Yeah. And random bullshit. And uh there's this there's a scene where she bite like she bites his she, finger. Okay, off. so she's thirsty and he's rubbing it in her face by like drinking his water in front of her and stuff. Pouring um, pouring out what's left of it on the ground and Yeah. Um and then he forces her at one point to drink irradiated water. Yeah. That was probably also some of the nastiest water I've ever it seen. Looked like oil. Like it looked like oil. It looked like oil mixed with animal piss. Yeah, fuck that. It was disgusting. That, and she even said, I think it might have been animal pee. <laughs> they get into a fight. She bites his finger off. Yes, yes. So then he, he picks her up and he, he cuts her finger off. He's like, this and, is I, and then he takes her to the super duper mart, which of course was another moment where you point at the television. And you're like, ah, I remember that. So they, they get in there and he basically is talking to someone through like a, a basically an intercom. And it's mm-hmm. really, it's really kind of mysterious kind of fallout fashion. Yeah, He's talking about her. Like one would talk about a piece of meat or yes. Like it sounded like he was selling her to slavers. Yes. And that's kind of what you thought was going on. So she gets in there. And is greeted by a Mr. Uh, Hansy or Mr. Cogsworth or whatever it's called. Mr. Oh, Mr. Handy is what they're most Yeah, Mr. Called. Handy. And, like, it starts giving her medical treatment and stuff. And she's, like, very surprised. And she's like, 
I thought I was going to be a when he sold me. I thought I was going to be a sex slave. He's like, "What? No, that's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just going to harvest your organs." <laughs> as, as he's putting her, uh, giving her a new finger. By the way, yeah, he's good. He's like giving her a new finger, a dead finger, a, cor a corpse finger, which is fucking ridiculous. Which, mm -hmm. by the way, I want to point out that Mister they 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 later later on they showed the voice actor who plays Mister Handy, who, and it happens yeah. to be that guy from uh, What We Do in the Shadows. Story. In the shop, there are just ghouls everywhere, but they're all locked up and stuff. Um, and he, the guy, wanted like a month's worth of the drugs or whatever. Now I'm gonna let you talk about the next, the the, the two dudes. Think they were high off their. Fuck asses. yeah! They're they're just sitting there watching television on a Mister Radiation or was it what what's the television called? Something Radiation. I don't remember Master Radiation something. But anyway, it was a cool it was a cool throwback to Fallout Three and high yeah, they're just high high football. and dumb and they don't fucking care. And uh, Lucy manages to escape the Mister Handy and she gets out there, and like she threatens to kill the robot. And they're like, what? They're at first they're gonna stop it. Like, wait, but robots aren't alive. <laughs> <laughs> and she one of the cool parts is she's telling them. Hey, let out all the people, let out all the ghouls. Oh, and okay, this is after, by the way, we had already seen uh, the guy kill another ghoul that was going feral. Yeah, which, by the way, oh, I God, I wish we had more time because that was a, that's such a good yeah. moment. Because he did it. For, especially for Lucy, mm -hmm. because, like, she saw how harsh the world was. She didn't realize that uh, he was preventing the other ghoul from going feral. Mm -hmm. Like it was, it was a, an act of mercy and it didn't seem like it at the time, but it was. Yeah. So like it, it shows the signs of a ghoul going feral there. Yeah. The people who know, no, like it was a, one of those, if you know, you know, things people yeah. who didn't know, didn't quite know yet what was happening. Yes. They would learn at this next part where they release all the ghouls. And there was one, there were ghouls in there that were literally like rocking back and forth, like saying, my name is blah, blah, blah. Yeah. My name is blah, blah, blah. The ghouls that haven't turned just run away. They they escape. Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the 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 regu the main character ghoul is passed out outside. Uh, <laughs> and she and, and she's pointing the gun anyway, at these yeah. stoners, and she goes, she tells them to open it. They do, she they open the yeah. first one, and the normal ones go out. And, then, and she says, "I want everyone." Yeah, and they, they're like, "I don't think you everyone." Yeah, I don't think and you so want they, that. Yeah, they release the feral ghouls, and the feral ghouls fucking just slaughter everyone in there except her. Yeah, like it's it is fucked up, and then the, the Maggie or the the one that was shaking back and forth cause starts coming at her and says, "You don't want to do this, you don't want to do this." And long story short, she has to kill. Yeah, that one. And it was kind of sad. Goes, ends up going completely feral. Yeah, she gets the whole box of drugs, and takes it out to the guy, and like golden rule, bitch. Yep, that and that's what I said earlier. She just drops him and says, "Golden rule, bitch," and it walks off, and that's the end of their togetherness at this yeah. point. Meanwhile, Maximus and his new squire, the kid who was beating him up. Yeah. Which, of course, um, the new squire doesn't know Maximus. Is yeah, in, so Maximus he thinks it's is, Titus. Yeah, because Maximus has been pretending to be Titus. He beat the shit out of a bunch of dudes in another town. He claimed that Maximus died. And then he ripped out the radio for his thing. Yeah. Anyway. He also, Maximus was so naive. At one point, he left his power armor alone. So, of course, people were coming to steal it. Of course you got raiders or people just coming to steal that shit. Yeah. And they're dumbass trying to take it apart with a hammer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dip shits. That was that was a good part. And then he squishes one of their heads like a fucking melon. Oh that I I, I cringed at that shit. That was bad. That was that was probably the most like brutally violent part oh. of the entire show. Yes. And the game it, it just like the game. Because part of me thought like, oh, he's gonna grab the dude's head and the dude's gonna like call off his dudes. No, he grabs the dude's head, the guy panics and it's <laughs> oh, and the sound the sound of it the sound yeah. of it oh dude oh, it was so perfect oh they wind up being the ones in possession of the head because they're fight they fight the thing the guy is almost getting eaten by the fucking finger monster <laughs> oh fuck that thing and Ma maximus is pulling him out and they like destroy it and shit oh that's right yeah because it pukes up yeah it pukes out everything including the head like it, it pukes up its insides did you see that yeah, like it, it, it's its stomach came out, and it, so yeah. the head goes rolling. Nasty. And they find it, and that, so they got it, like you said, and and they're getting ready to go. Yeah, they got it, it in. and then finally Maximus reveal like later, they're talking. Maximus first of all learns that he was only being beat up because he was the new get the new guy, the the guy he's with who used, was beating him up. Used, used to, to be the old whipping boy. Yes, 
And uh, they, so he's like, oh, yeah, I'm sure he understood. And because they're talking about Maximus because yeah. he thought he was dead. And this is where Maximus starts to soften up towards the guy, too. Yeah. Well, well he also he also does the same thing. Clean my cod piece. You know, that was some bullshit. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that was earlier. But like that was, that was before he starts really learning. Yes. Oh, this guy was also the me before yeah. I got there. The, uh, uh, could be Fwend is what he was thinking. Yeah. So then he reveals, hey, it's actually me, Maximus. And the dude's like, no. It just starts it steals the fusion core from the suit and runs away and runs off with the hit. Yeah, at that point. and he's now trapped in this tunnel and rad roaches are climbing all over him. Which ugh. and that's imagine yeah. a roach the size of like imagine like five roaches the size of dogs crawling on you, man. Yeah, fuck that. So and, and Lucy ends up saving him, and that's where those yeah, two end up together. Up and he becomes a good person. Um, they end up he ends up losing his his power armor for some time. Yeah. Uh, um, Vault Four. Yeah, I feel like we have to talk about this. Yeah, uh, like we can't. Okay, we're we're obviously not going to do a comprehensive summary. We're skipping over a lot of things on yes. purpose because we want you to watch the show. Vault fucking four. Oh, dude! It starts off very happy go lucky, and it's like, oh, this place is fine. This is fine. This is completely fine. Even the guy who has a third nose is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I will say this: the 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 overseer you you find out has. The, the one, that was one eye. so funny oh um, like he, he walks up and they're like huh? and he's just got one eye and she's like, it was on the center of his head and max was, it was actually a little to the left <laughs> <laughs> which was which the okay well we're skipping the sex part yeah. we got to talk about the because because yes. what happens is they go into what i think is a, a medical facility yes i think and, it's been name dropped another game yeah and they fell they fell through this this like I, basically a, a trip hole or fall fall hole whatever yeah, crap it's, it's a trap good. and you find out it, it there's a reason for that watch the show we'll go get it you can get it but we're not gonna get into that yeah. but they end up they end up getting patched up so they go they go uh, down there so they they're quarantined because yes they're uh, outsiders they, yeah uh and and then at this point you got people going in there they like one i think lucy wakes up after falling down there and they're talking and i think mm. i want to say that when she wakes up they're they're alone right that's when they're alone yeah. And that's and where she's like, oh, they're in like the quarantine beds. And she's yeah. Like, <laughs> and someone taught like, it's basically a happy, happy fucking, everyone's hat. Like it's, it's cool. Like yeah. she's like, yeah, we're, we're in a vault. Everything's going to be fine. Happy. We're in a vault. Everything's yeah. going to be fine. She has no idea that vaults are mm-hmm. different. Um, the vaults are fucked. The, they're fucked. Uh, yeah. So at one point she's like, we said, she offers sex to Maximus. She's like, Hey, you can tell she's, she's turned literally on. in the middle of conversation. Do you want to have sex? <laughs> And that's where he's like, where he says what we said earlier, where he's like, was that where that thing where my cock, it doesn't happen to me, but you know, some people, their cock explodes like a pimple. And, and I, I could not stop laughing because I was not expecting that. Yeah. Cause like, clearly he's like ashamed of it. Like... <laughs> We're expecting something to get fucked up. And then, yeah, the, like, then they introduce this us. Experiment? What's this vault experiment? And then they introduce uh, us to the, the mutated people more or less. Mm-hmm. And we're seeing like people got glowing eyes and like third noses and just and all this other shit. And you're like, oh shit, there it is, there it is. And Maximus says exactly what everyone is thinking at this point: the nose fallout. Something's wrong here. But then he ends up getting his own vault room and like just completely forgets about the world. Forgets a, he's he's sucked in by the beauty of this place. He's like he eats caviar. And he's like I like it and it makes me feel good. And that, that scene where he gets his own room. By the way, there's so many little fucking uh like references to the show you just in that basket that they give him so long story short uh you she find investigates it. she investigates it finds they well it was fucked it's actually they're actually nice people yes in the long run except that weird ritual that that, was... the way they all got naked and started worshiping dust yes yeah okay that was or, fucking or, or, weird no that wasn't it wasn't even dust it was the ashes of dead people that they were yep. rubbing on themselves yeah that was <laughs> 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 Even I kind of cringed in that, but I mean I get it. I like, I like how we find out at the same time as Lucy, like right after she's put some on her. These are the ashes of our of our fallen. She's like, she's like, uh, because she puts them on her head, right? Yeah. And people are like rubbing it on their bodies, and they're they're topless. Yeah, and that's why she decides. That's when she decides I'm gonna go look. Yeah, this out. place <laughs> is fucked up. They're hiding something, and she yeah, and she starts like. And there's like a what's it called? There's like a there's like a, a room that no one's supposed to go into. Yeah, like the forbidden section, yeah. kind of like that Harry Potter floor. So we're gonna skip over this. I'll, I'll just tell you guys, it literally 
it used to be a really bad vault where it was controlled by uh, scientists. The What used to happen was they bring people down there and... Lots of human experimentation. Yes, do human experimentation. Crossbreeding with animals, shit like that. Which is why we had certain things we saw and then that three-eyed mm-hmm. guy in the nose and all this other shit. Those guys were the ones mm-hmm. were pretty were being crossbreeded and fucked over and, and experimented on. So mm-hmm. long story short, those guys were nice. But the funny part about this was that Lucy was be there because she went into the room she wasn't supposed to, was getting excommunicated. She was getting let. She was getting yeah, okay. It was so funny because they're oh I actually I'm gonna Yeah. Go ahead. I'm go gonna ahead. leave that part. I'm not gonna like relate that story because I think it's much funnier for you to experience yes. for the first time without being told. Yes, because it's fucking hilarious. It, yeah, the way she's the, the way she's punished is so funny. But I'll, I will say this point. Maximus anyway, gets get gets his suit. There. Gets his suit. And then I'm, I'm just going to say one thing. Uh, I'm sorry about that guy. He might need medical attention. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, dude. They, they, they eventually abandon his suit, too. So we'll go. Let's go all the way to the end. Where they yeah. find Molda, Moldaver or whatever her name is. Turns out she is leading the old NCR. Which, um, if you know what the NCR is, you know they're the good guys. Kinda, yeah. They're they're like no one's like the good good guys, but they're the probably in my opinion. Everyone they're has the, their own opinion. Yeah, they, that's they true. They have their own opinions about the factions. That's true. Um, but they're the better guys out there. If you wanna, if yeah. you wanna. In Fallout Two, they were kind of the good guys. In Fallout Two, they had kind of brought order to the wasteland, and everyone was using NCR credits, and bottle caps were. No, like bottle caps weren't the credit cre- currency anymore. Yeah. Um, NCR were the good guys in Fallout Two. <clears throat> yeah, and and they they were the like the remnants of the Vault Four were the remnants of a certain NCR installment that got bombed, and we'll, I'll just leave it at that. Yeah. Uh, so, although you, I'm sure if you've been paying attention to anything online, you know exactly which one. That yeah. Was. Yes. Which um, that name? And we learned the time. Okay. I guess now would be the perfect time to. She learns the timeline of that place in the vault, and a lot of people got really upset because it said twenty two seventy seven, the fall of location. Yeah, and then it, there was an arrow, a distinct arrow, pointing because it was a timeline. So there was a year event above a uh, year event above the year, arrow year event above the year, and so that this one it had a, just a nuclear bomb. Yes. A lot of people misread misread that, even though it should have been really easy to read as, oh, it was bombed in twenty two seventy seven, which means all these canon, th- all these things that happened in the game we love didn't happen if, in the show. Really, this goes back to what we were talking about earlier, where people are just finding shit to get mad about for no reason. Uh, finding shit to get mad about for no reason, and also completely misreading shit. <clears throat> I I think that mm-hmm. I think that any fandom. Is yeah. gonna is gonna go out of their way. There's gonna be those people that are gonna go out of their way and try and yeah. ruin shit for other people just because it makes their nipples hard. Yeah, and but I think yeah, that's we, the we case. All, yeah, we learned that Walt or that uh, the ghoul had served in the An- liberation of Anchorage, um, and in Alaska, and that a lot of people died because of flaws in the power armor back then. Yes, and he knew about that. Yeah, which he shows oh, when he's shooting. Guy from West Tech was t- trying to schmooze him up. He's like, "Yeah, I designed a T forty five. Man, I had to like try to gloss over all the flaws to get it released." And he's like, and he's like, "Those flaws got a lot of men killed." And the guy immediately backs off, like, "Oh, I, I wasn't actually involved in that kind of stuff. I was more in the human resources." Yeah, stuff. yeah. Like it was like the biggest backpedal ever. Uh, towards the end, shit, shit goes down hard. All I got to say at the end that, and, and this is all I'm going to mm-hmm. say, cause, uh, cause if we say anything, it's just going to reveal. So mm-hmm. all I'm going to say is it looks like the next, the next season is going to be in new Vegas. Yes. And Mr. House is, is we also- saw him. We saw, we him. saw him. We saw Mr. House. Cause he was, he was Robco. And like you, there, there's a meeting in, in one of the flashbacks where all the people are talking and, I'm not going to get into that. You guys watch it, but you see Mr. House and Oh Jesus Christ. Did he look just like Mr. House? Mr. If for those of you who don't know, Mr. House is basically Walt Disney. Yeah. Mr. How, well, he's also, it's also a play on the, the term in Vegas. The house always wins. Yeah. Yeah. Of course it is. Mr. House. But I mean, he looks mm-hmm. just like Walt Disney. He does. <laughs> in my um, opinion. He also, he looks like Walt Disney and Nikola Tesla. Yes. 
We yeah. want you guys to see it for yourself and yeah. get your own opinions. We have our our opinion. It was great. You've got to have some reason to watch the show. Yes. I mean, we're, we're here to tell you about what we think and what we liked, and that's what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Anyway. 10 out of 10, in my opinion. Yes. <clears throat> I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know there are people who didn't enjoy it. I think those people are wrong. <laughs> you know, everyone has the right to the opinion, but yeah. to hate on something for the simple fact of hating on something, I never yeah. get behind that. I'll never get uh, behind it. The, the one thing I want to know is, Todd Howard, where the fuck did this story come from? Or why were you... You're going to tell me that Fallout 4 story was just okay and you were sitting on this the whole time? Yeah. What the fuck, Todd Howard? Yeah. Go watch Fallout. That's all I got to say. Mm-hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's the end of the podcast. We're going to see you next week. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy. Stay sexy. Always.